Okay, so a quick video here on this uh, F4 flight controller. It's the Racer Star Mellow F4 um, Bluetooth flight controller, and obviously it's got the Bluetooth radio right here. Works with the SpeedyB app. I'll show you that here in a second. I did a review video on the SpeedyB app um, a while back, and I'll put a link to that video down in the description because I won't be covering that again. I will just show you how that it actually connects to this. But this board here is really interesting. Um, currently it's on flash sale for $22.50 for one thing. It's a very good board. And the reason I know this is this is basically the same board that's in the Tyro 129. I've uh, flown that uh, at least 30-40 times already, no problems. It's got an F4 uh, MCU and it's got the MPU 6000 gyro, Betaflight OSD. Now this one comes obviously with all the plugs here, like on the Tyro 129 flight controller, um, and also all the soldering pads, but none of the actual plugs themselves. So they just give you a bunch of bare wire here, so you'll have to do the direct soldering. However, uh, I, look, I did look very carefully at all the pinouts here for the plugs. This could be a direct drop-in for the Tyro 129 if you want to do the uh, flight controller upgrade and get the um, SpeedyB Bluetooth connectivity option so you can configure it via your phone and not have to plug in via USB. So you can just drop that in and use all the same plugs on the Tyro 129 if you want to. So this uses the uh, same uh, Betaflight target, the Matek F405 target. Uh, the UART that's dedicated for the SpeedyB um, connection is on UART 5, so you want to make sure you don't turn off the MC, uh, MCP connection on UART 5, otherwise this will disable that function. And also it has the uh, black box capability via the micro SD card, uh, same on the Tire 129. Yeah, you'll see the board looks pretty much the same, except for obviously the, uh, the Bluetooth radio is not on the Tire 129 version. And as you can see that uh, all of the plugs here correspond to the soldering pads on the bottom and they're all pinned out the same way. Um, there are a few pads here on the top that I'm not sure if they're on the bottom but I'll just point them out. So you got your uh, RX3 TX3 here and RX4 TX4 here. Those are the two extra UARTs. Um, the receiver is going to be on UART2 and then you have uh, TX3 here for your uh, smart audio. So they have this plug here for 10 volts and VTX, and that is also on the solder pads on the bottom for T VTX and CX3. And then over here on this side, you got your camera connections. Over here, you have your connections for your 4 in 1 ESC or individual ESC if you want. You got your negative, positive, four signal wires, and the current sensor. The pads over here are also nicely labeled. You have RX2, 3.3 volts ground, S bus, 4.5 volts and ground. And over here you have your pads for RX1, TX1, SDA, SCL. And then these pads over here, you have your, oh, these are your LED pads, uh, 5 volts LED buzzer and ground over here. And then one more thing I should mention, uh, this thing was kind of confusing for some people here on the receiver connection here. So obviously it's going to be uh, these pads right over here for your receiver or these are the over here if you want to use 3.3 volts for a spectrum receiver you have to bridge uh, these pads right here so if you bridge two on the left that will work for inverted S bus receivers but for pretty much everything else that's not inverted you want to bridge the two pads on the right that's going to work for PPM DSM spectrum receivers and IBUS so Make sure you understand which your which ones you want to use for. Your, if you don't solder, if you don't do um, if you don't do a, a solder bridge here at all, this port will not work at all for any receiver. So you have to either pick S bus on the left here, bridge those two on the left, or bridge two on the right for the other. They're pretty much for the rest of the receivers. Okay, so I'm going to power up the board via USB, and that will turn on the radio. So pretty much, if you have any five volt source, that will power up the uh, SpeedyB radio. And then we'll just launch the SpeedyB app here. Uh, you want to select Bluetooth. Obviously, you want your Bluetooth turned on on the radio. And then the um, Bluetooth radio on this board is going to show up as TCM MBLE and some random numbers and letters. So we'll connect to that. And it should just go ahead and connect to the um, board here, the flight controller. And as you can see, I can 
turn and rotate the board and it shows up here the accelerometer information shows up here so you can see we're connected but yeah this works basically the same as uh, I, I've demonstrated before obviously there's been a few updates to this app since that um, video has been out but it's largely the same and it works with the newest beta flight uh, I think 403 I think is on here currently flash so yeah this uh, as long as you get the latest version of the speedy B app this will work with this uh, flight controller and I will put a link down in the description to where you can get this in the Google Play Store anyway it's going to do it for this video you definitely want to check this one out for uh, 2250 currently on flash sale. It's a great deal, and if you want to get the SpeedyB Bluetooth functionality on F4 flight controller uh, with all this functionality, 5 UARTs, etc., uh, this is a really good deal at $22.50. So definitely check it out.